<laughs> TP strikes again, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna even try to, man, I ain't gonna even try to front with y'all. If uh, grade A bullshit Tyler Perry is what y'all looking for, you, then you would not be disappointed, man. Cause this, this is ridiculous. That's right, Double Toasted Live is gonna be in Los Angeles Saturday, April 27th at the El Porto Theater. I gotta ask y'all, when was the last time Tyler Perry has been to church? Does anybody know? Anybody know about Mr. Perry? You know, he's 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 he's, he's buddies with Jesus. Yeah. And my, I don't think Jesus is very happy with him right now because he's getting nasty. Look, he's dressed for a sex party right now. <laughs> like he's going, going straight to a, to, a, to, a, to, a, to a sex dungeon. Uh, sponsored by Netflix. Sponsored by Netflix. <laughs> or just flicks. Yeah. <laughs> nasty flicks. I'm looking, He's looking like the gimp right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a gimp blade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that guy say like, hey, so I'm going to a party. You coming with me? You're like, oh, I yeah. What, so. what kind of part? I, I, I'll catch the next one. Yeah. As he walks with three people on a leash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, Tyler Perry been getting nasty, y'all. He been getting nasty. Look, I always knew that Tyler Perry had a freaky side. And he's been trying to come out for a while. I mean, we listen. We knew. He tried to give us a hint when he showed us that sex dungeon in Temptation. Remember uh -huh, that? Uh -huh. When he pretty much went to hell. Uh -huh. Hell was full of white women and gay dudes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he tried to let us know. <laughs> that chick in the middle, like she's like, oh, her eyes God. rolled in the back of her head. She's like, I'm on a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> oh God, this is hell. <laughs> you know, because he's been getting nastier with these thrillers out here. You know, we went from these kind of family friendly Medea movies to these crazy ass soap operas and he started getting into like these these darker movies these thrillers and all of a sudden people started <laughs> start using foul language and it's like you know jesus would not like this no, no. he stopped he noticed he stopped going to church Stop going to church yeah yeah man you know so now now he's gone full freak with this movie right he's crossing over from 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 the from thriller to erotic thriller with his latest film mia culpa People thought I was gonna say Mia Coleman. <laughs> no, I already made that movie. <laughs> yeah, he, he stole the title. He did. Movie. Hey, hey, man. that would have been perfect for hey, you. Hey, hey, Tyler Perry, we got to talk. <laughs> you must be out your nuggets. You think you can take my wife's name? Make a movie out of that? Uh, but, but with this right here, Mia Culpa refers to the title character played by Destiny's Child's uh, 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 Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. She's a lawyer. Apparently a very good lawyer. You couldn't tell about the movie. We'll talk about that later. But she, she's apparently a good lawyer who's been tapped by this this artist, sexy artist we must say, who is being uh, accused of murder, murdering a girlfriend, and for some well, I, well, I was gonna say for some reason he wants her to help him out. But you know, I say for some reason he wants it because he wants. <laughs> he wants to have sex with you, like you fine as hell. <laughs> and I can't find another lawyer that's willing to have sex with me. Except <laughs> you. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna break your ass down. <laughs> Cause that's what happens. Y'all know the case. I mean, or the it, situation. It's the same as temptation. It's I'm the same as temptation. Like <laughs> she decides to defend him. She's going back and forth on, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if this is right. And oh, but his sex ass just breaks her down. Uh -huh. And she ends up having sex with him, even though it's against everything that she's supposed to do professionally or morally. Yeah. It happens she's married to yeah. and all. It really, man, it, it's 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 temptation with a lawyer. Yeah. With more nasty shit in it. Yeah. And everything Tyler Perry writes is with, uh, usually with a woman who's professional, a lawyer or um, a business person. Mm -hmm. And it's written by somebody who knows nothing about either profession. No. <laughs> and that's Trevante Rose from Moonlight that plays the, the artist that is uh, needing her help. Zaire. Z yes, right, Zaire. Man, he even has old perverted ass name, Zaire. <laughs> Zaire, you ain't his real name. <laughs> real name is Fred or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a different side of Tyler Perry that we have not really seen before. Like I said, it's nasty. It's, it, when, he, we, we, when he says erotic thriller, he puts the emphasis on erotic. Maybe the sexy stuff is where his true talents lie. You know, I don't know. Maybe next one will be a porno. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? Why, why not? Why not, man? It's, you know, it's the same production value, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. You got a little bit better. No, no, no. There's, there's money spent on this one. It actually looks nice. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> hey, it looks nice. And, you know, I mean, listen, 
it's not the logistics that matter in these thrillers, right? We just want to see the seedy side of human nature and sexy stuff and, you know, a mystery that 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 that, that doesn't make no Anyway, let's, go ahead. let's go ahead and get to uh I did I must be getting too soon. Let's go ahead and see this trailer right here for Mia Culpa, and we'll be back with our reviews. Mr. Malloy, this is Mia Harper. I'd like to meet with you to discuss your case. First word. What do you see? Bonging. Well, that house, this, by the way, this is filmed in, in, in Perrytown, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> where you see them red bricks everywhere. Oh. <laughs> and and y'all have seen this before. Y'all have seen this. Uh, I think he's used this house before, like uh, uh, a fall from grace and, you know, the same. Oh, really? Because right it's a pretty nice place. I oh, it, it, oh, it is. Okay. No, it's, yeah, that's yeah. a fancy loft. Yeah. yeah. No, I think he's used this before. I think it's part of Perryville. <laughs> OK. Right here. Yeah. TP strikes again, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna even try to, man. I ain't gonna even try to front with y'all. This is boy. This this is Tyler. If if if, if uh, grade A bullshit Tyler Perry is what y'all looking for, you, then you would not be disappointed, man. Because this this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's like a greatest hits. Man, let me I tell mean, you. I, the only no. thing to make me think about AI, because AI would go through everything you've done and put it all together, and that's what they've done here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ain't nothing intelligent about this. <laughs> artificial or real. <laughs> it is artificial, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure a sex thriller is his thing, because he don't give a fuck. <laughs> Tyler Perry, man. The more money this man gets, the less he gets. About logistics, <laughs> making sense, like, man. This man here, <laughs> writing, right. di directing his actors. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, look, I'm gonna be cool and start out with two positive things that I can say about this movie right here. One is that, and I'm saying this in all honesty and, sin and sincerity, that Tyler Perry's directing has gotten better. His directing. The production values have gotten better. Yes, the have. movie actually looks good. The yeah. movie looks it looks good. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to do a uh, 80s, 90s style erotic thriller. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's pretty slick, man. I mean, like I said, I can tell, you know, with parts of Perrytown that he's in. But other than that, it's a <laughs> it's a it's it's a good looking movie, man. And his direction has gotten better. Uh the other good thing that I can say is that all the hair looks real. Not one bad Tyler Perry wig in here. Nothing, that, and nobody with no squids on the head, string or yarn, and nobody with cotton balls on the head. I ain't did not not one bad Tyler Perry wig. I was kind of disappointed because I was waiting for that, but cool. You know that's part of the production value is getting better, so I can say that all the hair is, is authentic in his hair. I, I suppose so. There was one I was questioning. We were questioning it. But it's like, well, I think maybe that is his real hair. No, it's, 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 a, it's a terrible haircut, but okay. All right. Who are you talking about, Toronto Rose? Yes. No, it's because it's, yeah. I checked that brother's fade yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the fade look, I, that's what I noticed. I was like, all right, the fade looks the fade looks real. Yeah. No, it, no, it's it's you now, listen, you know when Tyler Perry puts a hat or, <laughs> or you know, a piece of cardboard or something that uh, look like a cake on somebody's head. Yeah. No, his brother, that's that's I can see their hairline and everything. That's real. Cause you know, uh, when my man Makai Brooks, you could see the way that shit was glued down at the yeah. scene. <laughs> and he's just confused. What? what? <laughs> you don't see no skin right. <laughs> in between them cornrows. <laughs> so. <gasps> there was one bad wig. Oh, man, I missed it. No, you didn't miss it. The mom. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, the red hair. Yeah. Oh, was that a. Uh, well, I was on a white person, so I wasn't. <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention. I'm looking for the It was atrocious. Oh, I have to go and look at that. Go back and look at it. What the? And by the way, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something. At the end, I'm gonna get. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about spoilers with this. We got it. You <laughs> have to. You have no. You have to, y'all, because otherwise you wouldn't believe us. <laughs> and this yeah. shit gets good. Oh, man! From the beginning, you know things are soap opera silly with this, which is not to be. You know, which is to, it's, it's to be expected. Yeah. So in, in this, uh, so the character of Mia, played by Kelly Rowland right here. So, so when I say they soap opera silly, you know, D Tyler Perry, what I love about him that, you know, he don't, he don't give you a, like a small scoop of silliness. You know, that mother, he'll get a goddamn dump truck and <laughs> pour that shit on your ass. It's because everything can't be like one simple thing. No, it's never one thing. My mother-in-law, I don't have a picture of it, but what? What was the actress's name in this? I, I was, the the mother-in-law? Yeah. I, I don't remember. So there's a, so in the movie, 
I'm going to find this person because in the trailer, they don't show you some of these people, but you kind of have to see uh, some of these people, some of these actresses to get kind of get a, uh, a visual. Let me see here. Mia Culpa. Movie. So Carrie O'Malley. Carrie O'Malley. That's right. She has red hair and everything. Ke ah, Carrie O'Malley. <laughs> Who, by the way, is <laughs> it's funny because she's 46 years old in the movies. They say she's 60 something. Yeah. I was like, because I said she don't look no, no, those 60 something years old. Yeah. Is she supposed to be their mom? What? She, man, there's a dude that looks like a year younger talking about mom. Yeah. <laughs> mom. <laughs> you don't such your stupid ass up. This is her right here. She's 46 years old trying to play. They're talking about she's 60 something. But anyway, she plays the mother in law and she is cartoonishly bitchy. She's like a wicked stepmom in a fairy tale. Uh -huh. It's not enough for it. Oh, and by the way, like I said, Tyler Perry has piled on. So it's not enough for her to be a cartoon wicked uh, mother-in-law. She's also got cancer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which she ain't, by the way, she ain't walking around like <laughs> anything like that. She just a spry. <laughs> She's yeah. drinking. Yeah, yeah. Right off the bat, you go like, um, I'm gonna call bullshit on this. Yeah. <laughs> With that. Her husband. It's played by this dude named uh, uh, Sean Sugar. Uh, dude named uh, uh, the, the, her husband's name is Cal. Sean yeah. Sugar is his name. Sean Sugar is the actor's name. Yeah, oh, okay. and that's him right there. Yeah, he. Uh, so he plays. Uh, he plays the 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 husband. He's he's a bitch ass husband. L a low confidence mama's boy. Even though his mama's only like ten years older than. Him. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 but hey, that is not enough. <laughs> So my man also got to be an, he's got to be an addict. Yeah. He lost his job at yeah. the, as an anesthesiologist because he was addicted to his own shit. He was addicted to anesthesia. So he was taking that shit and lost his job. <laughs> Showed up high and drunk. <laughs> and drunk. Yeah, I was like, okay, drunk. And it was like, okay, one thing, he's using his own anesthesia, but why do you have to be drunk too? Because <laughs> yeah, it's Tyler Perry. I know. Everything comes in layers. <laughs> yeah. And you showed up to work drunk. And yeah. high. Yeah. <laughs> so he's trying to like... A lot of the family and say trying to tell them I'm the man of the house, even though she's supporting his ass because he ain't ha he can't get no job because he's going to therapy and shit. Uh, the real brother's in the movie, like his bro this dude's brother in real life. Oh, that's really his brother. Yeah, that's really his brother, uh, Nick Sugar, the okay. sugar, the sugar boy, the sugar boy, <laughs> <laughs> the sugar boys. <laughs> uh, so uh, he's the brother-in-law, but also he's a lawyer, a DA, a D. Oh, he's the DA. Yeah. And he wants to run for mayor. And so that means that uh, uh, Mia can't, uh, can't take the case with uh, Zaire. Yeah, because his, his whole thing is he's going to make his bones by prosecuting Zaire. So once he you know, puts him in a hole in the ground, he's going to be a shoe in for mayor. Because she's tough on crime. Right. <laughs> but if she represents a Zaire, then it's a conflict. Yep. And if that ain't enough, oh, boy, it just keeps getting, oh, Mia they have such a complicated life. <laughs> Because uh, the sister-in-law, who's played by Shannon Thornton, sister-in-law is also the best friend. So mm -hmm. things just keep getting on. You know, this, listen, Tyler Perry makes these things complicated just to create drama. Yes. You know, this shit wouldn't be happening like this in real life. No. Family, the, the lawyers, the DAs, the brother-in-law, and the sister's no. the best friend and all these. And you might be friends with your sister-in-law, but you'd have other friends, too. Yeah. Not um, here. No, all she does is hanging around with this chick. <laughs> Mia has got to be the dumbest lawyer ever. The watching her in this movie is just slowly watching her make one long big mistake. It's just watching a car wreck in slow motion <laughs> while you yell at her, look out, turn around. First you're frustrated and then it becomes, you know what? I'm entertained. I want to see what she's going to do next. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, because uh, uh, whether or not, whether or not uh, Zaire is guilty, whether or not he's guilty, all signs say don't take the case. Because the man's a idiot. Yeah, he's a he's a horny idiot. He pay, first of all he just does shit that just that I mean it's almost infuriating how you just looking at this and yelling at the camera like that don't make no sense. Don't do that. Why would you do this? He paints he paints pictures that make him look guilty. <laughs> Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He paints pictures, talk like the chick that he said I didn't kill. He paints pictures that say "Die, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> yeah, so you actually did do it then. <laughs> yeah, got all this shit, all these pictures out of the open. Tom, but I don't even, I don't even remember painting these. Like, God damn, man. <laughs> he he also doesn't answer direct questions. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> no, it, where, you know, where, where were you on this day that she disappeared? Man, I don't want to answer that. Yeah. Well, he don't want to answer because you're too busy falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Trevante Rose, but I don't know what the... What, what, what does Tyler Perry did, do to these people? Did, did, did Tyler Perry drug his ass or did he smoke him out before he got on the camera? I don't get it. Me and my daughter were talking about what a great actor he's been and stuff and how much we like him. And then we watch him and then so I was like, this is the first time you saw him, you would think he's the worst actor you've yeah. ever seen. And I'm like, I never want to see this guy again. You would think he just he just woke up from a nap before he stepped uh -huh. on set. He just groggy and everything he say was eyes closed. It looks like he's falling asleep mid line. Yes. <laughs> how's this how's this helping me in my case? Why don't you want to be my lover? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he sit up there falling asleep? What are you talking? You fine as hell. Why don't you like me? <laughs> Yeah, sit down. Yeah, listen to me now. Yeah, these, man, he's sitting seriously. Toronto Road is a great actor. Yeah. He is. But the mother got high before every scene. And I think it's because he's method acting because his character's supposed to be high. But goddamn, he didn't have to act. Oh, you ain't right. really got to do it. His, his character like is, is, is smoking out and getting high all the time. I, I thought Tyler Perry, it's funny, Tyler Perry won't give nobody real food and water, but he gave that mother. Joint. <laughs> that joint was so cartoonish and huge. It looked like a yeah, chicken chong joint. <laughs> it was so big. I thought it was a hand rolled cigarette as long as it was. And she's like, hey, you shouldn't be doing that out in public since you're on trial for murder. Oh, this? I can do this whatever I want. I'm like, oh, that's a joint? And Bobby, yeah, everything she tell him, he don't listen. Yeah. You can't go out. I'm going out right now. You want to go? <laughs> hey, you want to get on my motorcycle? <laughs> Hey, come to my office. I don't like it. I don't like it here. Just come back to my place. Yeah, he went to the office. She said, the, 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 don't leave your place. I'll come to your place because the paparazzi will follow you. He gets, but he does end up going to her uh, to uh, to her uh, 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 her office. Because is that what it was? Like he told her, don't come out. I know. Oh no, he told her come to the come to the office. Well, yeah. she, well he always kept saying, come to my loft, come to my loft. And then after one or two times, she's like, all right, you kind of weird. Come to my office. And then he's there like. I don't, I don't like it here. I don't, I don't like this. Come back to my law. Yeah. And by the way, you're not supposed to. You shouldn't be going to his law. No. Which no. is why she's alone. She, alone. Which is why she said, come to my come to, come to my office and be professional about it. And he gets in that office and start loud to look around. I don't know, man. Suits. It's, a, <laughs> it's an office. What the? What were you expecting? <laughs> yeah, suddenly he's, he's itchy like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Suit. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, man, I don't feel right to me. Man, people sitting at desk doing work. I don't know about this. <laughs> Pencils and papers and computers and shit. Yeah, you know, just come on back to my, my law. <laughs> so I can just try to seduce you some more. Yeah, in reality, they would have just done it over like Skype or whatever. So much of it would have been over Skype. Oh, yeah. Like, like her going over there all the time. Like one time of going over there, you get a vibe from a dude. You're like, yeah, it's time to not do this anymore. He, but, yeah. Or not go by myself, but not her. Yeah, he's so horny. He ain't even taking anything seriously with his case. He just yeah. want to. Yeah. He pouting when she's there. I'm not. I'm, I can't be attracted to you. <laughs> Why don't you get the out of here? <laughs> you know he's he's. Uh, <laughs> Why can't you answer my question? Why can't you admit you you're attracted to me? Yeah. Dude, do you want to go to jail or not? I, it's, she it's said, up to you. Do you want to get lethal injection? <laughs> I don't know. You want lethal injection? <laughs> with this I, dick? I can give you this injection, man. Right you want this, want this dick injection? <laughs> he didn't say. <laughs> Practically, practically, she, she, <laughs> as well. She's have. like, "Do you want the lethal?" Because she asked, "She's like, do you want the lethal injection?" Everybody be like, "No." He's like, "I don't know." <laughs> it's like, idiot. Yeah, idiot. Stupid ass. And the crazier he acts, the more she keeps wanting to go to his place. The got a sex club under his apartment. Yeah. Boy, that that whole I was like, oh, we're back to temptation with the yeah. the, the descent into hell. Yes, with the red lights and the red room, everything. Red demons and that. <laughs> he was like, he, people, the, the 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 man got a sex a sex club under his apartment. Uh -huh. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. He said, because she said, I'm I'm going out for a little bit, and she said, you can't go out. He's like, well, I ain't going out. Out. I mean, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> well, apparently, he keeps a bunch of sex. people. What's that? People just, just stay down there just. Yeah, just just orgies going on twenty four seven. People just down there. He keeps people down there in the basement just having sex. <laughs> it's crazy. That scene had my favorite line in the movie. Oh, which one? The, the one where a guy walks up behind Mia and is like, "Hey, you want? I got X." <laughs> yeah, I do kind of like you a little bit. <laughs> and then when she walked away, like, "It was wrong with her." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, and 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 oh, when she comes in, he's having sex with his neighbor. Neighbor don't even bother putting on clothes on. She's yeah. like, "Hi." 
I'm from next door. <laughs> She's like, nice to meet you. With, with all the bad acting in this, that neighbor stood out as the worst actor maybe in the entire world, but certainly in this production. <laughs> oh, she, and she like had two dit. lines. She looked like a ditz. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm the neighbor from next door. Titties sticking all out and everything. And <laughs> eventually, and oh, the thing is, she leaves because the woman just don't put no clothes on. She just, they just, they go to having sex in front of her. And despite all of this insane shit that this dude does that can ruin her career, she keeps going back there. Because why? That old Tyler Perry bullshit is like, it makes me feel like a woman when my husband don't. <laughs> and he's mysterious. And the thing is, I know there's all the different, you know, whispers and rumors about whether Tyler Perry is gay or not. Uh, and there's no, you know, been no evidence presented for that. Other than the way he writes a man trying to seduce a woman. This is the most tired play that anybody has ever had. Everything he does is so obvious and cliche. I was like, Dude, do you not know how people talk to each other? <clears throat> yeah. No. It didn't really make sense to me. It's just like, all, okay, I guess you're kissing now. Yeah. It just happens. Yeah. Well, here, let me let me show you how to paint. It'd be like, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Any kind of activity where he could put his hands on hers or come up behind her, put his hands around her hips. Shit, even when she was in front of her husband, he came up and put his hands on her hips. <laughs> hey, this your husband. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Yeah, this is uh, stupid shit. Dumb shit. You, t you talk to women like you're a child. Shit, when, when he can barely talk. Right. <laughs> what? Here, close your eyes. What do you feel when you paint? Get off me. <laughs> what's your favorite yeah. color? Yeah, what's your favorite? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you feel when you paint? I feel your dick on my back. Get, get away from me. <laughs> yeah, see what you did? That's, that's a masterpiece. <laughs> no. No, it's not. It's a squiggly line, dude. And they're trying to set this up as some kind of mystery. The thing moves so slow. It's like, I don't even know what y'all setting up. I just see y'all making some of the dumbest decisions in here. <laughs> Boy, it's just so stupid. I ain't even got no, I ain't even got no segue for our sponsor right here, man. No. They're like, hey, leave us yeah, out of yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> People, this nonsense is brought to you by Shopify today. Shopify. Let me tell you about Shopify. Some of y'all, let me give word out to our sponsor real quick. Shopify.com. I'm telling y'all about Shopify because we got some talented people in our community. We, I'm sure we got some up and coming Tyler Perry's in this community <laughs> right here, man. Some very talented people. <laughs> One day you have your own Perryville going on. But, <laughs> but for right now, and we got a lot of people who make things, you know, we got people who make arts and crafts. I show you this all the time. This is the latest thing I've been showing off during these uh, ad reads. Uh, this is a figurine of myself, of Martin right here. A Toasty made these things. Now imagine if they were making these, a lot of these and selling these online, they would need an e-commerce store to do that. And I think they would do very well. And that is why I would recommend the e-merse, the e-merse, <laughs> the e-merse. <laughs> The e the e commerce store, which is Shopify. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Shopify powers ten percent of all e commerce in the U S. And Shopify is the global force behind millions of other entrepreneurs of every shape and size across one hundred and seventy five countries. Woo we! I didn't even know the world was that big. Oh yeah, Martin, I'm, and and. Learn something new. Learn something new all the time. In a world this big, that's a lot of entrepreneurs out there. And a lot of them are using Shopify. Millions of entrepreneurs cannot be wrong, right? So whether you're selling, I said the other day, I ain't got nothing else. You can't really buy this online. I'm going to say it anyway. Whether you're buying cheese or chihuahuas. <laughs> or cheesy chihuahuas. <laughs> you can't, man, you cannot buy chihuahuas, I don't think, uh, or sell them on Shopify. I don't know. Maybe you can. But, hey, you can sell a lot of things with Shopify. So whatever it is that you're selling... Shopify is there to help you sell everywhere. They have great online support. So they got you covered no matter what part of the progress you are in building your store. And they also are using AI now. You can sell a lot with a lot less effort with Shopify Magic. That's the AI powered system that they have in place. Businesses that grow, they grow with Shopify and that means you. But hey, you know what, let's say you ain't made a big sale yet. You haven't got your store up going, you know, you got that much money. That's okay, because we got a deal to help you get started out for very, very little money. Check this out. If you go to shopify.com slash toasted, 
you'll get, I believe that you'll get a $1 per month trial period. Again, businesses that grow, they grow with Shopify. That means you. I want to thank Shopify for sponsoring this portion of the show. I want to thank all of you out there for your support. So, listen, I, I you know, this, this, y'all know this is bad. This is this. And this is another Tyler Perry where he the more serious he tries to get with some of these things, the more they turn into comedies, man. Mm-hmm. Thank, <laughs> thank God for Tyler Perry. Boy, I love these movies. I love these movies so much, man. This, these make my day. These are the best comedies of the year when they come out. <laughs> Kelly Rowland, I think, was good. Uh, at times. I like, think like, like really? with the opening scene, I was like, oh, she's she's not good at, too too good. But she's you know, she's a singer. What can you expect? Well, she but, acted a lot. But she? but okay. Well, but but there were scenes later on where I was like, all right, she she she's kind of she's all right. No, I, I liked her. I liked her in this. I think she uh, look, man, it's one of those things where I was like, man, she's doing she's doing a lot better than most of the people with the material she got. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. And you kind of got a grade on a curve, so I, I guess. Yeah, because this was some ridiculous yeah, shit. Yeah, it's some strange material, to say the least. Yeah. So I, I kind of gave it to her, like, girl, you trying. You were trying. Now, Travante Rose, like I say, he's a really good actor, but that brother was sleeping through this whole nah, thing. Not in this. Not yeah. No. Nah. Not even once. No. Nah, I don't know what was going on with him with his tired ass. I, mean, you know, I, I really wanted to, I just kept saying, man, just go to sleep. <laughs> so, don't, don't, this shit is stupid anyway. Just go to sleep. I, I'll tell you who I did like <clears throat> in this, even though his character was silly as hell too. I liked Ron uh, Ron, Rico Red, Lee. Ron Rico Lee. Yeah, yeah. man, it's Jimmy. The, his, that was uh, me as a uh, PI. Red, you know, the guy's like a brother to it, but he just like everybody else, he's the worst PI out there, he man. Sure is. Private yeah. investigator. He's just, he's just terrible. I like the actor. He brought something to it. Oh, he was yeah. great. But yeah, he he was left and right. <laughs> Gaslighting her yeah, unintentionally. Yeah. It's crazy. Boy, he, he made her situation worse and gives the and gives the worst advice. She ain't got no business trying to be this man's lawyer at all. Uh-huh. And then is a, of course, I mean, spoiler alert, uh, you know she ends up having sex with this dude. And anybody else would be like, why did you do that? Get the out of there. But he tells her, you did what? You had sex with her? Oh, girl. You can't stop the case now. You in. <laughs> you know, you, 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 man, don't don't you quit now. Yeah, and and uh, hey, don't don't beat yourself up over it. You're you're human like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. What? Man, he trying to <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, can, can we just go ahead and drop the shoe where he's trying to get in there yes. as well? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't you you had sex with him? Oh, you can't quit now. <laughs> I think he was the one who had another one of my favorite lines when he was talking about the DA. He was like, Oh, that tender dick DA. <laughs> <laughs> and talk about logic. There's no way the judge would let the her and her brother in law go against each other on the same case. Yeah. He was, yeah. They, they they keep mentioning conflict of interest, conflict of interest. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And the judge goes like, ah, it's fine. You can go ahead. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, no, but He's like, you know what? I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna let this happen. But but if I, they never explain why. No. But if I hear any funny business, yeah, yeah. I'm sending it to the bar. Yeah. There's also another big thing is that the whole big thing is the search for the girl that he killed. Mm-hmm. You can't prosecute somebody for murder if you don't have a body. Yeah. That's 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 just basic. Yes. <laughs> oh, people. <laughs> And then there's the old Tyler Perry twist. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the man. Old... We, we twisted the night away oh, on this one. Boy, you twisted the way I broke my spine. <laughs> this ain't, man, this, this, people, this is not a twist. This is taking something ridiculous and just shoving up your ass. This is... <laughs> and then twisting. And then twisting hard. Hard. Oh, the old Tyler Perry twist. Come on, baby. The Tyler Perry <laughs> twist. <laughs> man. Okay, this is where we're gonna spoil things. Okay, so just to tell y'all, man, this is you hear all the the the, the logical things that are going on with this movie. Mm-hmm. This movie is ridiculous, and it's no surprise because this is you know the, Tyler Perry with these thrillers have been he's being silly and silly with yes. them. And by the way, <laughs> what husband like uh, secretly goes to see his friend, you know, who happens to be a female? Oh, we went to high school together. You know, if it's innocent, tell her. Tell your well, wife. Apparently he told her and she didn't believe it because when it's open, he's like, yeah, he's going to see his friend. And when you had an affair, he's like, she's my friend. Why are you holding hands with her? Because she's my friend. <laughs> I said that part. I don't <laughs> yeah, know what's happening. It, it, I don't think the part, not, not that I don't think that he was, not that he was doing anything. I just don't think it was written very well. No, it wasn't. It was written in a way to create drama. Yes. Like, the, why are you holding hands with her? You know, yeah, I want to know that. Why the f- hold hands with her? If that's your friend, you know, y'all out there at lunch. Yeah, it looks shady. But, 
you know, and, and the guy wasn't doing anything, but it's like, but it's still like, okay, I'm just going to write this in a way that creates tension. Uh -huh. You know, I, I just, you know, Tyler Perry star shit. <laughs> <laughs> but with this, okay, so the movie, man, listen, I love these movies. I mean, it's a weird situation because they're some of the most entertaining films that I've seen when he's, when they come out. But it's still some bullshit. Yeah. So it's man, it's a it's a very very high, very good some old bullshit. I, I love the movie, but not the way he wants it to be loved. Mm -hmm. I ain't the kind of love you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to his movies dressed like this. <laughs> Ain't the kind of love you want us. We're about to talk about the, the the twist though here. But go ahead. We, you want to tell people what you give this? Oh, we're giving ratings already? Yeah, because we're gonna go on and talk about the, the, the sports. Oh yeah, thing. no, no, no. It's a it's a it's clearly a some old bullshit. It's I mean it's really a low sum old bullshit, but but it's entertaining because it's so bad. No, oh, yeah. Um there I, I will say as far as anything we liked. There is one character and one scene that I genuinely loved, and that was when they went to the gallery. That that woman who ran the gallery, um, she cracked me up. I was like, she. I was like, she's actually good. Yeah, her. She has. She she chewed her scenery well. She had one of the best lines in the movie. Mm -hmm. I even wrote it down. I'm glad you you, you brought it up. So, where uh, Zaire's art is displayed at this gallery. All these protesters come up because they feel like he's guilty. So they're protesting the gallery, which she runs. So there's a scene where she opens the door to let Mia in, because Mia's gonna come ask some questions. And she looks at all these people protesting and she says, all you bitches can go to hell. And she, she, she shuts the door. <laughs> going to hell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, when she was going by, she, <laughs> that was the best line in the whole movie. <laughs> Even when she's off the screen, though, like after Mia leaves her because she has that revelation of what was happening, you hear her like cackling. Ah! <laughs> 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 and she was awesome. like, she's like against the wall, oh, just hearing her laughter in her head. Oh, that shit was she awesome. Does, man. I forgot about it. Yeah, man, her, her coming in and breaking it down. I was like, okay, <laughs> this right here. I just want to isolate this whole part. <laughs> she's a no. She she is very good. She is, dude. I, I have to give this like a rental at least because like a regular old rental because you gotta see this shit, man. Like yeah. it's, yeah. it's kind of awesome. Like I was twenty minutes in, I was like, all right, here we go. And then like you start hearing these things, like wait, what did they say? What is happening? It's like it's it's all we're all giving us different ratings, but I think we all agree with you, like because you do have to watch this, man. Watch this, it's fun. Tyler, no, Tyler Perry, look, he don't mean to do it like this, but he's making some of the, the most hilarious and fun films out there with these things, man. Well, because three quarters of it is just a, a bad, poorly written soap opera. Yeah. That last quarter. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, here's what we getting into it, y'all. I wish you could show clips of that very end. That I've rewatched that like four times. Oh, that man, that ending. <laughs> that quick time event. Oh. <laughs> if it's what I think you're thinking of or you're talking about. So here's the here's the twist, y'all. So after confessing to sleeping with Zaire, Mia, confessing to sleeping with Z uh, Zaire to uh, her husband's family and her husband, she she decides to clear her head by going down to the uh, Dominican Republic. And so when she's down there, she coinka dinkily mm -hmm. <laughs> runs into the, <laughs> this by accident, she runs into the woman who was supposedly killed by Z uh, Z Z Zaire. Zaire. Yeah. And she's like, hey, because she's this, she runs it like by a maid. She's like, hey, wait a minute. You're come here. And then they get to the boy, they get to this crazy ass fight where they like she starts using her maid shit as a as a weapon. And she even smashes her with law, like uh, Windex. Windex. She's like, she she sprays her with Windex. She's like, ah, ah! and rips her phone out of her hand. She's trying to take a video. It turns into Benny Hill, like really quick. Yeah, pushes the card into it. And then she gets on the phone to call Ray, the brother-in-law. Yeah, the phone got ripped out of her hand, and suddenly she has a phone. I was like, well, well she goes, she is, she says to her PI, it's like, yeah, I had to go get a new phone. Okay. And she goes through phones in this one. Oh, she does. At the very end is some silly shit with the phone. Like, I can't even explain it. But then she, so she, so then she calls, uh, she calls up the brother-in-law. And the brother-in-law, like, I told you not to bring your bitch ass around. Him, but he, but uh, she's like, no, I met, I, I ran into the woman. That uh, that that Z Zaire supposedly killed. He's innocent because at this point, uh, Zaire has gone to jail. <laughs> yeah, he took a plea deal. He took, yeah, he took. A... 
or something. <laughs> that didn't make no sense. Somewhere they couldn't get him on the body or anything like that. So he so he took a plea deal and they got him in jail. I think he's but he's gonna be out on parole very soon or some shit mm-hmm. or something. Or he's making but anyway, it don't make no sense. But she calls up Ray. The brother-in-law tells him this, and Ray's like, hey, well, and this is where you knew something's up. Hey, well, you know, you just get back here. I'm going to send my man on it. But you make sure you come to the house. And it's like, why well, you got to go to the house? You don't even right. like her. Right, yeah. Oh, uh, your, your husband, Cal, he'll he'll be here. Yeah. And, and Ray, who's been mean mugging her through this entire movie, suddenly he's all big eyes and smiles. He says, he's like, this just is a look. Just crocodile he, smiles. Because, yeah, this is a look he got on his face. Like, he was, because he picked up the phone like, yeah, bitch. And then she's like, I found her. And he's like, oh, shit, I got to think of something. He's like. Come home. <laughs> no, just just come home. It's okay. So she gets so her dumb ass goes. So she goes to the house. So she's on the next plane back and goes to the house. So while she's at Ray's house, now things that everybody in the house is looking like aliens. Now everybody's <laughs> smiling, <laughs> looking like pod people and shit. Hey, me, come on in. We're about to have dinner. You know, all right, these people, they they did something. They in on this. Sure. Yeah. I mean, and it, it's not just like, oh, I think they did something. Here, have a drink. <laughs> and you can see the particles floating in the water. Yeah. <laughs> the answer. Have a drink. Oh, let me get this knife for you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and you haven't drank your drink. Drink up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that it was just a glass of wine. It's like, I made you a drink. It's like, that's not making a drink. Now, before, before, before Mia went to the house, she was at uh she was at Zaire's place. And she learned that. The big thing that was that freaked her out about Zaire is that Zaire, he has his with his crazy ass. So every woman he has sex with, he paints and then puts it in the same, put the paint in the same spot for the women to see when he's when he got them on that back or some shit. So she went over there and for some reason she started pulling the layers back and she realized, oh shit. He's just been putting one painting over another of all these chicks that he had <laughs> sex with well, with his stupid ass. Cause the gallery owner told him. Yeah, yeah that's right. She's like, so when you're going over there, it's like, I know you. Him. Yeah, I could tell. So did he do the whole painting thing where he had you paint red and paint blue? Yeah. And so her ass was like, mm, mm, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> she likes salacious crap. <laughs> so you're like, let me see. Shoop. Yeah. Shoop. Shoop. Yeah. Shoop. And it's just one chick after that. She's like, I'll be goddamn. <laughs> and then the, the last one's like, I killed that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. The last <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, so she gets to the house and Ray got a whole evil room. It's a room just colored in red uh-huh. to show evil. So he walks, she walks in that room and it's just open. The door's open and they just got a, one of uh, uh, Zaire's paintings on the bed and she looks at it and it's a painting of the sister-in-law. She peels it back, the sister-in-law. Uh, uh, who's also her best friend. So it just says that, oh, so do we, you know, if we're looking at this right, uh, if, if if we're going by Zaire Zemo, he had sex with her because he uh, painted her. Uh-huh. And so now everything is coming together in one big ass stupid picture. And I'm like, I was like, I can't believe this shit. I mean, you start putting out like, I can't, my, tell me, though, tell, tell me you're not doing this. Tell me this is not what I think it is. So it turns out that since Ray's wife slept with Zaire, he this whole thing of uh, Zaire being framed for murder, he orchestrated that. Yeah, the DA. The D, yeah, the <laughs> DA put it together to frame Zaire for, for to get revenge for him having sex uh, with his with his wife. And by the way, I guess uh, Zaire is just creating villains with his dick because he's just had sex with everybody. Mm-hmm. He has sex with both wives. <laughs> yeah, with both wives. Yeah, somehow, uh, yeah, you you wonder like, did he have sex with Mia just because she was the wife and he was like, yeah. hey, I am I got a pattern here. This, this How cool will this be? Yo, I, yeah. And, and you're like, how does nobody know any of what's going on? Also, this is a convenient way for him to show that, hey, I'm tough on crime. So if I frame you and get you uh, sent to jail, then it also shows that, you know what, not only am I tough on crime, but I get the I get the job done. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the mom with cancer? Uh, miss, don't miss, say it. Miss, 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 miss O'Malley? Uh-uh, don't, don't you say it. I've been I've been feeling bad for her this whole time, taking her chemo <laughs> I, 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 I know. Oh, Martin, I hate to tell you. Oh. Man, she didn't have no cancer. Oh, oh, oh no. Why did she do it? Oh, to get sympathy from the voters out there. Mom, more cancer means more votes. <laughs> Forget people checking up on 
uh, medical records to get people. Somebody may ask, what hospital did you go to to get your the, your chemo? Like none of that shit was was thought about. Also not thought about was uh, Zaire's defense attorney. Well, never mind. It was her uh, looking into the fact that he had sex with the DA's wife. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess since his defense attorney was Mia, that she was too dumb to figure yeah, out yeah, any of that Yeah, she's out. the dumbest lawyer in the world, man. So now mom loses her shit. <laughs> Mrs. O'Malley, again, who's uh, who's only about, like I say, five years older than her son. <laughs> <laughs> Spry as hell. She gets a knife and, and tries to stab Mia. Uh, uh, they killed the wife. Ray kills his wife, stabs her. The family then starts coming after Mia. Uh, shooting at they her. They shooting at her. And, and by the way, the worst, they, they, like they... I can understand her outrun the knife, but somehow Ray was like, dumb. I was right here. And Ray was, I missed. He, he was right there. And this <laughs> stupid m- missed. And she got out the house. But mom, <laughs> like, with a front <laughs> mom, who's the most spry 65 year old woman, she jumped, she's like, oh, because Mia gets in the car. Mom's like, oh, no, you don't. So she jumps on that shit like the T-1000 or something <laughs> and starts hanging on the hood. <laughs> Skip my favorite part though with the mom where she knocks the phone out of her hand and just like drops her knee oh, on it. It's like, like oh, chemo's sorry. <laughs> I guess your phone is broken. Yeah, like, she, yeah, she knocked that shit out and then she did like a WW wrestling <laughs> move on that shit. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's what you were counting on. <laughs> I guess your phone don't work no more. Like, nah, screen's just a little cracked. This fine. <laughs> yeah, you were right, man. She went down on that knee hard. <laughs> Me is driving me like I right, I'll get your ass and she runs into a tree, kills mom. But you was so like just step on the gas and sit yeah, her flying. Exactly. Like, she ran to run into a tree. All right. Gets out the car, sees husband Cal uh, driving to the house. She says, "Cal, you know your your family tried to tell me they're crazy. Call nine one one." Cal, me is shocked at this point. He's like, tell me what happened. She's up there quiet and shit. But anyway, he's like, "All right, all right, whatever." So he gets on the call, call nine one one. But then she's like, "Wait a minute." I remember some foreshadowing with the Bluetooth on the yeah. phone earlier. Yeah. So she presses the Bluetooth, turns out he's talking to his brother. Yes, bring her to me. <laughs> yeah. and no, he call, first he calls 911, and then like he gets another call, and he's like, hello, 911? It's like, <laughs> what the f- is that? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. And then she presses the Bluetooth yeah, button. Yeah, yeah and, and she's he, figured it out. Bring her back, bring her back yeah, to the she's house. she's figured it out. Bring her to me. <laughs> we'll fix her. <laughs> It's like he doesn't even notice that the Bluetooth is playing and he's like, all yeah. right. Yeah, 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 I just noticed like the voice isn't coming out of his phone anymore. It's coming out of the speaker of the car. Hey, man, I'm sure it's loud. Can you hear me? Yeah. Probably the brother like, what's that echo, man? <laughs> man, I'm on that shit. <laughs> and so she figures out like, oh, okay. So they're all in on it. Uh, he's mad at his, right? Ray's mad at his wife because uh, Ray f- our t- Zaire and my husband's mad at me because I here too, so everybody's trying to kill their wives right here. But she ends up seeing a truck, runs right into the truck because she unbuckles uh, Ray, uh, Kyle's driving, right? Uh-huh. She unbuckles Kyle's seat, and he's like, he doesn't think, like, what's going on? He just looks like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and then she steers that shit into a truck, he goes flying, he dies. Ray actually still lives. They say Ray's getting arrested for having all this. Yeah, they show him getting arrested with right his head down. And, <laughs> and uh, at the end, Zaire is set free, and he's like, I, and he's coming out all smug. And which one of y'all got a camera that's close up right here? Oh, hey, Mia, I want to thank you for everything, girl. And then leaves her a message on her phone saying, "Can we get together sometime?" The only thing is, she has a burner phone, right? <laughs> yeah. So how did he get the number? How did he get the number? <laughs> Dude, like yeah. yeah, you yeah. see her after she just like throws the phone yeah. in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so either she went over to AT and T or T Mobile and got a new phone. <laughs> in between all this shit, she got a burner phone, and they don't they don't bother to explain how he got the number, mm. which is what I got from that. Yeah. So it's this typical crazy. Plus, the, plus the, yeah. Hey, reporter, come here. I just want to say, hey, Mia, girl, thank you for for helping me out and setting me free. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> Who the. It's Mia. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the reporters were asking him dumb questions, and you think she'd be like, "Well, thank you for my life, asshole." <laughs> and as she walks on by, they play Isaac Hayes' "Walk, walk on, on By." by. <laughs> oh uh, boy, this is boy, beautiful. This, this is this is grade A Tyler Perry ridiculousness. I love it. I love it, man. Now it's no it's no fall from grace. That's still that's still better. I would even say uh, acrimony is still crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. You think is, so? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I guess so. Yeah. I mean, she. Man, the, the, that bitch was jumping out the ocean dry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And everything, you know, she yeah. The acrimony is way crazy. I but mean, this is still quality. Oh no, this is up there, man. This is up there. Yeah, it's it's, it's in the pantheon. Oh hell yeah, it isn't. I mean, no, no, you know, I mean, it could have been Temptation too. Yeah, <laughs> it sure could have. I loved it, loved it, y'all. 
Yeah, I mean, I just it's, this is the, these are the weirdest reviews because these are some of the movies I love. A, I love a lot, and they, and then I end up getting some bullshit. Yeah, well, so. they are bullshit. No, they are. No, they are. <laughs> they are something. <laughs> yeah. Now well, there y'all go. But they have to be seen to be believed. <laughs> oh, they I just really do. Love how on the nose he is. It's like, no, he's an artist. So. They Covered in paint. Oh, I know. That is so I know. I was like, unhygienic. I, yeah, you never do that. No, you know she. Also, it, it, notice this. It, they, this happens in movies all the time. Somebody's an artist, and they're when they're painting, they ain't doing shit. They're, the paintbrush is going over the area that's already. Oh painted. yeah, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yo, that yeah. Them, there's a scene of them having sex in paint. Getting paint all up their ass and everything. Yeah. It's supposed to be erotic. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. And no then, woman wants no paint up her vagina like that, all right? And then when they get up out of the bed, there's like just a tiny bit on the sheet. The sheets are clean, but yeah. like the pillow has like a tiny bit. Yeah. Shit was. Yeah, spec. <laughs> yeah, people. Oh, Tyler Perry has done it again, y'all. I love it. I How love does it. he do it, Corey? I don't know, man. Genius. Genius. <laughs> <laughs>